Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be talking about more games that I recommend on the Steam Summer Sale 2019. This time around each of the games will be under $5. So this is talking about the US store. In some regions it might be more, it might be less, so check the prices at the right of the screen. You can find the links to all the games I mentioned down in the description plus the honorable mentions which will be still games under $5. Let me know which are yours down in the comments so I can add more to the description. In the previous video I forgot some currencies so I apologize about that. Sometimes I forget some usual ones like the euros. I don't know how I could forget euros. Kind of weird. And keep in mind that all these are games that I played and I'm into single player stuff action adventure so it might be a little repetitive to you if you like more varied stuff so let's get started so first alan wake 70 percent off knocking it down to 449 us dollars this is a single player game made by remedy entertainment the guys behind the first max Payne, quantum break and the upcoming game called control you're a writer on vacation called alan wake and you're being chased by your own creations into a nightmarish world to say it in some way a lot of weird stuff happens and the combat in the game is a little unusual while you have weapons you first have to point the light to your enemies and after you get the darkness out of them you're able to shoot them before doing that they are just invincible to bullets and you have to manage the batteries for the light and complete very simple puzzles in some levels it's kind of weird to explain just like that it sounds very boring but it's not that plus the mysterious story I think it's a very interesting game and the game still looks pretty good considering it was originally an Xbox 360 game. Borderlands 2, 75% tough, knocking it down to 499 US dollars. This is a fantastic game, a lot of content, a lot of humor, there are tons and tons of weapons, you probably heard about Borderlands 2 by now. It's one of the best looter shooter games that you can find and for only $4.99, but I recommend playing co-op with friends. Without friends it's still fun, but as always with friends it's always more fun. If you have another 3 people with a PC that want to play the game with you, there's a 4 pack available for $14.99 US dollars, so it's less than $5 each copy. Then if you want all the DLC you have to pay $8.79, and there's also an option to buy the Handsome Collection, which includes Borderlands 2, a ton of DLC, plus Borderlands a pre-sequel, which is another Borderlands game in a different scenario, which is the moon. Kinda weird, but it was rather interesting. The game uses RTX 9, it doesn't run perfect, sometimes like, it drops below 60 without much of a reason, but still, I think it's a very enjoyable experience, especially if you like looter shooter, and hopefully Borderlands 3 is even better. Insurgency, 75% off, knocking it down to 374 US dollars. I was a little mixed about this one because it was cheaper in previous years, I think it was $2 the previous time. So you get multiplayer on this one, you get co-op, but you can play on your own if you want with bots. I usually like to make my own server and play with and against bots. I think the AI is good enough. It's on the Source engine, so it runs pretty well, but it tries to be a little more hardcore than the other games in the genre. So yeah, a lot of content for $374 US dollars. And if you have $20 to spare, I will go for Insurgency Sandstorm. It's the next game in the series. It was released very recently. And yeah, it's a lot more expensive than this one, but still, I think it's worth considering. Just cost 3, 85% off, knocking it down to 299 US dollars. So on this one, you you get a huge open world, you can fly around it using a wingsuit, you have an infinite parachute, there's a lot of destruction, you have to go from city to city and take it, which is destroy pretty much everything you can find that is destructible, and then just raise a flag and claim it yours, that is a big part of the open world, then you get some single player missions that are completing very simple objectives, and there are also some trial missions that you have to get to certain scores by doing something in a certain amount of time. Personally I'm just a fan of destruction and the single player missions, for just $2.99 you get a ton of those, flying around the map never gets sold, and there's also a multiplayer mode made by the community, you can find it in the DLC section for free, after you purchase the game of course, so yeah, you get Just Cause 2 for $1.49 or Just Cause 3 for $2.99, in my opinion, just great deals. Left for that too, 80% off, knocking it down to $1.99 US dollars, so for just $2 you get this game, you get a campaign, you can play it co-op, you can play it on your own with bots, there are also PvP options that I don't really play a lot, but people say are very addicting, also due to the age of the game you can play it on pretty much anything, even integrated graphics, and there's also an option for a few extra cents to get Left 4 Dead 2 plus Left 4 Dead 1, I'll get Left 4 Dead 2 since it already includes the campaign for Left 4 Dead 1, and it's an improvement over Left 4 Dead 1 in every way, at least for what I played so far, so you get the campaign for Left 4 Dead 2, 
the campaign for Left 4 Dead 1, and an extra one made by the community, which is already in the base game. And you can download mods and change the weapons, change the character skins, everything for free in the workshop. So yeah, a lot of content for just $1.99. Even if you have another person, the game is already much better, and it's very cheap to just get into. Mad Max, 75% off, knocking it down to $4.99 US dollars. This should be one of the most expensive games I'm mentioning in this list, made by Avalanche Studios, the ones behind Just Cause, Rage 2. So by the title, you know what it is about is Mad Max. You have your own car in the game, you can make multiple upgrades to it. There is vehicle combat, there is hand-to-hand -hand combat similar to the Batman Arkham games, and all that in a huge open world. So you get to complete objectives that are like taking down some towers, which is very simple. Upgrade your car, upgrade Mad Max for the hand-to-hand -hand combat. You can choose to have a faster car that is a little weaker, or a super heavy car that can take a lot of damage. The choice is up to you, I think it's a very interesting premise, and enough content for just $4.99, and I think this game is a little underrated. Metro 2033 Redux, 75% off, knocking it down to $4.99 US dollars. Both Metro 2033 Redux and Metro Last Light Redux are $4.99, so if you want to get both, you can find them for $7.49, I think it was, in a bundle. If you have the budget, I recommend getting that. You get two great games for less than $10. But since this video is about less than $5, I recommend one of them. So either Metro 2033 or Last Light, I think are fantastic games. Very interesting story. They're not open world games. Metro Last Light has more open-ended maps. You still have to go in a straight line to a certain place to complete the objective. But yeah, 2033 feels more linear. That's not a bad thing. Both games feel fantastic. It's clear that they are made by the same people and there are a good amount of difficulty options some of the most difficult ones apart from having less resources for you to pick up have slower reloads for your weapons so that's a very tense situation trying to get rid of the enemies and your guys just very slowly trying to reload a, a freaking pistol yeah just nerve-wracking i still recommend you get both games for 749 but still you cannot go wrong with any of them Fallout New Vegas, 67% off, knocking it down to $3.29 US dollars. Both this game and Fallout 3 are the same price. Personally, I prefer New Vegas due to the more interesting story. I'm not saying Fallout 3 is bad, all the opposite, but I prefer New Vegas more. You can also get the game plus all the DLC for $9.99 US dollars. Since I didn't play the DLC, I cannot really say it's worth jumping from $3.29 to $9.99. Just enlighten me down in the description, I really have no idea how good or bad the DLC is. It would be interesting to know. This is the Fallout made by Obsidian Entertainment, and a lot of people say that it's the best Fallout ever. I'm not really sure since I didn't play to completion all of the Fallout games. But I really like the story and all the different outcomes I got by just playing differently, by selecting different conversations or doing different things in the story. So yeah, for just $3.29 for the campaign, I think it's completely worth it. And it has a ton of mods that you can play with. And there are also some mods that fix the game, some things that the developer didn't fix, they were fixed with mods. So yeah, a lot of things that you can do on this one for just $3.29. Portal 2, 90% off, knocking it down to 99 cents. Try to recommend this game as much as possible on Steam sales. You get a great puzzle game with a story and a lot of comedy into it. You have a game that can make portals, so you put one of the portals to one wall, then a portal to another, and you can teleport between them, so you make a passage between those walls. But the first time you try to complete one, it might take you a little bit of time. So yeah, I think the puzzles are a lot of fun. Apart from the puzzles for the single player being a lot of fun, there's also a co-op mode. So if you can grab a friend to play the game with, I think it's a very fun experience as well. As always, as most people say, everything is more fun with friends. Well, this is one of those things. You just pay 99 cents each, and even on a potato PC, it runs fine, so you have no excuse. And finally, Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition, 90% off, knocking it down to $199. US dollars. In my opinion, this is one of the best deals in the whole sale. You get an open world game with all the DLC. You have gun combat plus hand-to-hand -hand combat. You can grapple enemies and do takedowns that are interactive with the environment. For example, in some parts there's a fish tank, you can put an enemy through it. Or if there's a big speaker, you can just throw him into it. So yeah, I like that, plus their martial arts combat. And there's a very small parkour system. It's not like Assassin's Creed, you cannot go and climb every building like brick to brick. But you can jump over tables, over rails links, all that stuff, and shoot at the same time if you have a weapon. Or you can just go to the open world and drive a car and jump from one car to another while they are moving. Pretty ridiculous, but a lot of fun. I'm not sure why it's so cheap. It includes all the DLC plus graphical improvements. 
since this game was first a PS3 and Xbox 360 game. We got two editions on PC and this one has slightly better graphics. So yeah, I highly recommend it, They're very underrated. I'll probably make a video about this game soon just testing it out so more people can buy it for just $1.99 and I still have to finish the story but at the moment it's very interesting but yeah guys that's the end of the video those are my 10 picks for under $5 on the Steam summer sale let me know in the comments if you know about more games that are less than $5 but are completely worth purchasing I'll add them in the description in the honorable mentions but yeah guys that's about it I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and see you next time